a little while back I replaced my parents CD player with one I showed me repairing this is my parents unit uh, CDB 582 Magnavox and really I was expecting some gears to be screwed up or something from the way it was acting but when I opened it up I found just this broken belt so it's a pretty trivial repair I grabbed another belt off of a CD drive that I cannibalized just to get rid of uh, computer CD drive anyway I stole that belt off of there it didn't fit I'm going to show you what's inside of a CD drive and really the only thing wrong was the front panel crumbled the plastic crumbled it was probably still a working drive but it's out of date I've got drives that are more modern than that one at any rate that belt didn't work and so I remembered I bought a package of these uh, pretty good deal you can buy these belts whole assortment on eBay although these are real thin I need I need to see if there's another set of these that are thicker you know like a one millimeter thick whatever this belt is because that's almost a more typical size than these thin ones however I found quickly that I had to take the whole thing apart pretty deeply to get that belt changed because there's a rack that rides on top of this toothed pulley here so you really couldn't get the belt in without getting this all apart and to get that apart the first trick was this guy which released this tab let it come out but even then these two guys these two little posts wouldn't let it come out past the front panel because on the front panel itself there's two little notches that those fit into so I had to remove the front panel as well it was all made a little more difficult by being a Torx headed uh, screws first to get the cover off and then to get it apart other than that it's fairly trivial Let's see if I can uh, get it back together I guess I'm gonna go with that thin belt And putting it back together is a little bit of a puzzle the front of the CD player is overhangs a little bit bigger than the front panel is so you have to have it out a little bit and you have to put the panel on at an angle there's like little pockets at the bottom you got tabs and pockets but the tabs also have little pop little things in them so you got to push them in and pop them they snap in so you just put an angle like that putting all this together was a little bit of a puzzle too but I figured it out should have shown more of that but shouldn't be too complicated the placement of this little sub tray has to fit in tracks that are inside of this piece so you put that together first and you kind of hold it together slide it in and there's things to keep the limits in you gotta pop them loose you know here and here and on this side you get the little lever for it anyway it's not too complicated you'll figure it out put the bolts back in and give it a try it should be all set oops a puzzle piece left out it just snaps in here but I'm gonna clean it first and it just snaps in these little holes the spring's got to snap way down here well back on this CD player project I got it all back together it didn't work and um, so I just didn't get enough traction of this little skinny belt the belt's kind of greasy out of these packages and kind of shiny oily feeling so I cleaned everything with alcohol and put it back together but it still doesn't get enough traction I could try a tighter belt but it might just break I'm gonna do both though what I did though is uh, the original belt is basically a like um, thickness wise it's not one millimeter it's like two millimeters by two millimeters square and I ordered a kit of uh, one millimeter belts so I went and put this thing aside for two weeks while I waited for a kit of two millimeter belts 
Unfortunately, these aren't two by twos. These are like two by or 0.7 millimeters. So they're flat belts. Still, I should be able to get one to work. I'm going to probably go a little bit tighter than the original. This is the original belts, which I taped together with a little bit of tape just to get an idea how big it would be. So I'm going to find a belt out of here that's... And then i got to go through the trouble of redoing this whole thing again. It was a whole puzzle to put back together. Basically, I took the front panel loose and a lot of other mounting bolts loose so that I can get the uh, drive apart and get the belt in as I should before. And I'm going to come back after I do all that. So here's the original belt taped together. Here's the belt I was using. Maybe you know, it's slightly longer. So that was doomed to fail. Here's the one I'm going to try. The two millimeter width. And just a tad snugger. See how that works. And there we have the desired action. So I can put the rest together here. And get the little spring on. So I'm going to put the cover back on and give it back to my parents. I've got a laser to replace the laser in the one that I gave them, the subject of an earlier video. Um, it's working, but it's a little bit fusty with discs. I'm going to try a different laser in it. Some future time here.